the secret to success is uh, basically, I mean, I'm sure somebody's already written a book about this, but I don't read. So I'm feeling like I'm breaking new ground here. The secret to success in life is the word yes and the word no. That is it. If you want to be a happy person, if somebody says, do you want to do this shit and you want to do it, say yes. Yes, I do. And then if they're like, but do you want to do this shit? And you don't say, no, I don't. Now, I know that sounds simple, but it's afterwards that is the hard part. And I feel is the reason why so many people say yes when they mean no, and vice versa, is because basically the fucking reaction of the other person. You have to just completely block out their reaction. You know, do you want to do this? No, I don't. Usually, when you say no, negative, don't want to do it, the other person is just like, why? Why don't you want to do it? I thought it'd be fun. I thought we could do it together. I thought it would be enjoyable. Why don't you want to do it? Because you asked me, and the first fucking thing in me, wherever that voice is in me, said, no. I don't want to do it. So then I said, no. Right? I heard what you said, and now I am going to fucking speak it out loud to this other person because they can't hear my inner voice. No. The answer is no. And then they always go, you're ridiculous. You're just, you're just being a jerk. You're being crazy. Really? Is that what my, my inner voice is a jerk? You know, how many friends, I want to ask you guys this. How many friendships in your life do you have right now? where uh, you can actually say, no, I don't want to do that shit. And the other person's cool with it. You know, people will give you a little bit of grief. But you got to be careful because a lot of times uh, there's a lot of cunts out there and uh, how they deem somebody a friend is basically that they do everything that they want them to do. You know? And then the second you start going, hey, you know, I really don't feel like doing that stuff. Dude, you changed. What, what the fuck's with you? God, go fuck yourself. You're a cunt. All right? What do, you, what do you think? You're perfect and you always have the best idea? Go fuck yourself. I don't want to do what you want to do right now. You know? I just got a big goddamn argument. Because, uh... I want the, what the, I didn't want the fuck it was about. This person was trying to tell me I never want to fucking do anything. What do you mean I never want to do anything? I want to do my Monday morning podcast? You saying that's nothing? Okay, because if you are, I'll tell you, I got 18 listeners you have to, you have to fucking talk to, buddy. Whatever, that's all I'm saying. All right? Somebody asks you if you want to do something. If you want to do it, say yes. If you don't want to do it, say no. Okay? And fuck their reaction unless they can kick the shit out of you. At which point you say, yeah, I'd love to. And then you sort of mutter to yourself the rest of the evening. (laughs) So anyway, so I'm at this birthday party, right? I'm sitting there. I'm having a couple of Budweiser's, you know, because I want to. You know, <clears throat> and this lady comes over, you know, it's the birthday time. Happy birthday, dear douchebag. Right? And they bring the, no, it's not douchebag, but they bring the fucking cake over. Okay? And then little Susie Miss uh, Cunty Box starts cutting up the fucking cake. You know? There's always that fucking, you know, soccer mom to be who just has to all of a sudden start fucking running things like the fucking control freak that she is. So I'm sitting there drinking beer, and she comes over with this fucking piece of cake. And she just sets it down. Here, you want a piece of cake? And I'm like, no. No, I don't. And she goes, why not? First red flag that I'm dealing with a pushy cunt. Would you like some cake? No. No, I wouldn't. Why not? Because I f- you fucking asked me that, and that's what my inside said. No, I don't want cake. i got to give you a follow-up. Fine, you want a follow-up fucking answer? I'll tell you why. Because the cake is blue. It's a blue cake. She goes, that's not the cake, it's the, that's just the dye. And she walks away and leaves the cake there. Stupidest fucking response ever. That's not the cake, it's the dye. You mean the dye in the cake? Oh, oh, I, all I got, oh, I get it, I get it. All I do is just eat the cake part, I don't eat the blue part. Exactly where do I enter the cake to get to the part that actually looks like fucking cake and doesn't look like, uh, you spilled one of those roofie drinks on it. Oh, it just fucking annoyed me. And I'm watching her bouncing around just handing people cake with her stupid skirt and her smart-looking fucking shoes. You know? 
Little Miss fucking PTA. She just she just looked like the kind of fucking broad that you know has got nothing better to do. This is this is her future. She's gonna have a couple of fucking kids and she's gonna be all involved in the fucking school and she's gonna know everybody's goddamn names and just uh and it's just gonna be her agenda. And her agenda is gonna fucking pass. You know? The same way I said no to the cake and this twat takes does not take no for an answer. He's like the cake, no I wouldn't. You know, why is it socially unacceptable for me? I should just pick that fucking piece of cake up with the plate and just mushed it. I said I didn't want any. Right in her fucking face. There. Let's end with this this segment. Oh, Jesus. Which is really taking on a, a life of its own. I thought it was going to die, but it has somehow risen. <laughs> Um, okay, here we go. Get ready for Bill is the dumbest person on the planet. All right, Bill, for what it's worth, I think you're fucking crazy and irresponsible, exclamation point. I can never say that. Excla excla exclaim. Exclamation. There we go. Exclamation point. That's one of the, you know those words that you kind of know how to say, but you just sort of fly through them? Exclamation point. Um, what kind of person talks about God like that? And I love this shit. This is what they all do. You should... And I believe deep down inside you are. Be ashamed of yourself, dude. This is what I love about these fucking maniacs is they're so wrapped up into what they believe that they... Listen to how much this person just keeps fucking including other invisible people and then superimposing what he believes into what, you know, he thinks I truly believe. Because he's so wrapped up in his own fucking world that he can't possibly even fathom that somebody has a difference of opinion on this subject. So he goes, uh, you should, and I believe deep down inside you are, be ashamed of yourself, dude. Are your mom and dad still alive? What exactly does that have to do with anything? Your shtick with respect to God is hurtful, offens offensive, and despicable. Um, three things. It always has to be three things. It can't be hurtful and despicable or offensive and hurtful. It has to be hurtful offensive and despicable. Just like comedy has to come in threes. Um, how difficult it must be to spew hatred and vulgarities for shock value laughs. No talent in that, my friend. That's the classic place that people go um, whenever you, you, whenever you, this is the classic guy where everything is funny until it comes around to the subject that they take seriously 100% and no one can even joke it, joke about it, or even question it on any level. And then they always say that you're just doing it for shock because they find it shocking. It's like, really, my views on women, women haven't been, you know, that didn't offend you. All the shit that I've said over the two fucking years, none of that has offended you, and now all of a sudden this does. Anyway, so he goes, enjoy your success, air quotes, and all the money you are making on the backs of hardworking, decent people that understand what it means to follow the rules and be the best they can be without putting other people and God down. The rest of us are watching and we are not laughing. Dude, how many people are in your bedroom as you're... <laughs> Do you have a group podcast listening party every week? All right, let's get back to that. Oh, evidently I am making uh, money on the backs of hardworking, decent people. So let me get this straight. Because I'm standing on a stage, evidently what I'm doing is not hard work. And if people are sitting in the audience, automatically they are all decent, hardworking people. And, and not only that, I'm making money on the backs of them. Really? Do I have some sort of comedy sweatshop, uh, you know, comedy factory with sweatshop labor? What I do is actually uh, takes advantage of no one. I stand on a stage and I, I, I tell jokes. And if you like what I say, you, you sit and listen. And if you don't, you walk out. Right? Where, where, you know, and I love how just because you're in the crowd, that means you're a decent human being. Do you know the, the amount of fucking freaks and scumbags that come up to me? This is what I found in a comedy show. For the most part, decent people, they leave after the show. Ah, I don't want to bug them. And then they walk out. And then maniacs <laughs> come up to me, you know. Let's do some Jaeger! And they fucking spitting in your face and shit. You know, believe me. All right. But I know I made fun of God. So now, uh, you know, uh, now all of a sudden I'm... Uh, 
now all of a sudden, you want to talk about people making making money off of decent, hardworking people? Take a look at fucking organized religion. All right, those guys are those guys are living pretty good, scaring the fucking shit out of you every goddamn week. All right, and I'm entitled to an opinion, and I never was cramming my opinion down your throat. I wasn't. Okay, you believe in what you believe in, and I 100% respect that. But I have the right to question it. You know, and you shouldn't find it shocking that I question it. You should. Shouldn't you just be what Jesus would do? Wouldn't Jesus just start praying for me? Anyways, let's let's continue this. Just in case you're interested, I was raised Catholic, married and raised my children Catholic, and definitely have my doubts about the whole organized religion thing. Great, so you agree with me. Not even sure that I believe in God. Once again, there's another point that we, that we agree on. I lost my father three years ago and never would have uttered these words in his presence. Neither would I. Why did my voice go up so high? Neither would I. Dude, I did it on a podcast. All right, I'm sorry your father passed away, but, you know, that has nothing to do with me. Do you understand what you're doing here? Now, all of a sudden, you're making it seem like I'm walking in with my Mr. Microphone into the intensive care, saying there's no God, you know, whispering into somebody's ear in a coma. You just go into the ground. We're all like deer. I'm not doing that. I'm doing a podcast, and I'm fucking around. All right, if you want to take it seriously, that's your problem, okay? And if you want to bring up... Your, your father passing away is some way to try to guilt me in to feeling like I mean, you know, what I'm saying in a hateful, hurtful fucking way. Dude, those are all your issues. They have nothing to do with me. All right? Then he goes on to say that his dad believed that there is something out there responsible for all the beauty in the world, uh, in our world, and for our lives as human beings. I don't even disagree with that. I just know human beings have no idea what it is until they fucking die. So I'm not going to sit there and listen to another human being who tries to scare the shit out of me and who's living in a fucking palace telling me that if I become rich, I'm not going to heaven. I'm not out of my mind to think that that reeks of a fucking scam the same way late at night when they have those fucking gold coins that evidently are worth 50 bucks and they're selling them for $19.99. That that doesn't reek of a scam. Somebody actually sent me a uh, an email of course I didn't save it evidently it's sprayed with like a dollar something worth of gold okay so they're making what is that a two thousand percent profit alright believe it or not just because you're walking around talking about religion and the afterlife and, and doing unto others and you're talking this great game it doesn't mean that you can't be full of shit alright Okay, and I'm not saying that I'm right about what I feel, but this is just, it, it reeks of, 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 of a scam. I really believe that there is some sort of thing out there, and I wouldn't be surprised if there is something after this. I wouldn't be surprised if you just go into the ground and you decay and you give life to the next fucking thing. I wouldn't be surprised if Earth is punishment for something that I did in a, in a different solar system. That's another thing about religion. <clears throat> Forget about the dinosaurs. Is it doesn't even bring up space. Okay, let's say there is this all-powerful be being, okay? Okay, and I'm just trying to question this right now. So no, I'm not trying to be shocking or I'm just questioning this. Let's say there is this all-powerful be being that created the everything that there is. Okay? The entire solar system. Why would you do all of that and just put people on this one planet? That's like you created... And, and uh, uh, you built this house that has inf an infinity, basically, amount of rooms, bedrooms, and you just put everybody, you're only using one room in the house. It doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. And that's the one thing about Scientology. For as much shit as people give Scientology, at least it has the brains to incorporate outer space. You know? <laughs> I don't know if that's a really good point or if that's really fucking stupid, but, you know, I don't fucking know. So anyways, yeah, dude, I wasn't trying to offend you or anything that you fucking... I was just trying to be funny, and I'm just fucking around. And if you want to take this shit seriously, that, that is totally your fucking choice. Um, you know, that's it, all right? I'm fucking done with that, all right? Do you know John Mayer? I, I always buy Rolling Stone when I, when I fly. You know, I just read it, whatever, try to keep up on, you know, whatever the fuck they're saying is good music. 
And they had on the picture a shirtless John Mayer. And I want to say he had at least one of his arms behind his head. And I was just like, you know, I just, I can't fucking buy that. (laughs) And that's one of those guys where he's constantly going on TV trying to address why people are saying he's a douchebag, and then he just continues to do stuff where he's lobbing it over the net to be called a (laughs) douchebag. I I mean, maybe he has no sense of how you come off, but, you know, not, I mean, I I got a lot of balls talking about that level of fame, but I know goddamn well, Joe, that if I ever posed shirtless on a fucking magazine cover and I wasn't doing it as a joke, there's, I can't. I know I can't answer my phone for at least fucking six months <laughs> because everything's gonna be, you fucking, fucking fag, you fucking douchebag. It's gonna be all of that. I'm not saying the dude is a bad guy, but his just complete confusion as to why people continue to come at him like that. It's like, okay, first of all, every fucking hot chick from 14 to 44 wants to bang you right there the jealousy of all guys involved right, right there there's a there's a certain amount of just out of jealousy are going to think that that you're a douchebag right okay but then if you add you add that shit jesus christ dude it's so funny why do you keep calling me a douchebag hold on more fucking glitter around the eyes i want more <laughs> glitter around the eyes <laughs> he's not that bad but i know, you know what's funny yeah. is he actually, he's actually a fucking great guitarist if he would just like, it's like, dude, did Stevie Ray Vaughan, he's got a Stevie Ray Vaughan tattoo on his shoulder. It's like, did Stevie Ray Vaughan ever fucking do that? Te- the only thing he was missing, he should have just been in like a backyard with like one of those rope swings. Or so, I don't even know what the fuck it is. Swinging from a tire? Yeah, just. <laughs> no, but then that would have been funny. Like, I literally, as a, as, I mean, I don't know what this means, I'm like homophobic. I couldn't buy the fucking magazine. Just How because, could you? 